What's going on, my truckers? Uh, let's get into today's segment. Truck drivers just don't have time to look up articles. Drivers are sending me this on the daily in real time. So we got to talk about some of these topics here. We're here at a part three with Max Stewart. You know, we had Max talk about how he got stranded live. Next thing you know, the company responded. Now he's responding to that email. So that's a part three. I'll put that in the links down below. We did a full interview on that. Okay, uh, they're not even here. That's just why they're not coming on live with you. They're not even here. All right, they're staring at a whole nother continent. This and that, and the person that you work in for right now is that fleet manager. The former fleet, the former fleet manager to LIB Enterprises, David Medic. Oh right. my that's Jesus! That's who I'm tell working for right now. Uh, second thing we covered two years ago, there was a truck driver parked at a facility in Colorado. Now this driver was sleeping. This lady, not sure what was going on. She was throwing rocks at his truck. He showed her his nine millimeter and said, if you don't stop, I'm going to shoot you. And guess what? He did shoot her, right? Uh, the jury says that uh, he murdered the woman. It said he was not fear for his life, that he should have called the cops. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, JB Hunt, uh, post their big Q1 earnings, and it was a miss. So we'll talk a little bit about that so you guys see what's going on in the trucking economy, seeing if it's getting better or worse, but let's get into today's video. Watch this video that we did a full interview with Max Stewart. You know, he tells his side and a lot of interesting things going on with that. So, you know, that's like a 40 minute video interview. So links are down below on that. So you guys check that out when you have some time. If you're driving, don't watch it, listen to it and let me know. You know, the big part about that is, you know, the foreign trucking companies, you know, should you work for them? Should you not? I thought this was a great topic. You know, second thing, you know, we've been hearing a lot about truck drivers running into buildings and for various reasons. Now, this one right here that recently happened was not the truck driver's fault. It says semi truck slams into store after Jeep runs a stop sign. This happened out in Michigan near North Greenville Road. Right, the Jeep ran a stop sign and plowed into the semi truck that forced the collision that sent the truck driver into this Five Corners Party store and pizza uh, Ria. So the thing is, is the Jeep driver sustained minor injuries in the wreck. The truck was not hurt. No one side of the store at the time. So that's okay. You know, uh, Five Corners Party Store and Pizza says, update. Everyone in the store is okay. Truck driver is okay. Please pray for the individual in the passenger car also involved. Unfortunately, no fresh pies for a while. We love you all. So overall, you know, we're waiting for updates on this, but one thing's for sure it was not on the truck driver. I know the DMV one was a very sensitive topic, you know, about a driver losing his CDL and then coming back the next day and crashing into the building and actually killing someone, right? And so that was super sad. But yeah, in this situation, the driver is okay and was not at fault. Now, the big one that we talked about two years ago, this was very interesting, you know, uh, the jury found this truck driver to be guilty. It says truck driver murdered when woman who threw rocks at a semi truck while he was parked. You know, it says 44 year old John David Thorne the third was convicted of second degree murder on Friday, April 12th for an incident that happened October 28th of 2022. Now Thorne was asleep in his cab outside of a boot barn in South Park Road at around 2 30 AM in the County in Colorado. So, you know, he was woken up by a woman who did not, uh, n that he did not know, throwing rocks at the side of his tractor trailer. Now, here's the story as how it went. He asked her to stop throwing rocks at his truck. She did not stop. He said, if you do not stop, he showed her the nine millimeter, he would shoot her. Well, he did what he said he would do. Now, the jury found him guilty because he stated that he was in fear of his life. They didn't think that was the case. They thought that he should have called 911 or something like that. You know, uh, when you look at the damage of the truck, the investigation said that it was minimal damage. So she was throwing pebbles at his truck. But, you know, mud truckers, not sure of the whole situation here. But one thing I will say is sometimes it's better just to drive away or call the cops. You know, a situation like this, you know, we're not sure what truly triggered him, you know, trucking. At times, is a very pressuring job. So I'm not making excuses for this man. I'm just saying that, you know, um, it's just a 
sad situation all around, right? Someone lost their life and a truck driver lost his life in a sense as well, right? So my truckers, just be safe out there. And, you know, if someone's throwing rocks at your truck while you're sleeping, just call the cops. Let them deal with it, right? Um, and the last one, we want to talk about this economy here, right? And we, we talked about how, you know, people are saying in Q4, it should get better. But guess what? Uh, JB Hunt posts big Q1 earning and they call it a miss, right? Uh, let's read into this article a little bit. They have a great article here, you know, on Freight Waves. It says lower revenue, variety of cost headwinds, plague quarter. So there's a little bit of the blame game here. It says uh, JB Hunt Transport Services missed first quarter expectations. Uh, reporting earnings per share of 122 compared to the consensus estimate of 153. Now, intermodal revenue fell 9% year over year as revenue per load was all by a similar amount, down 5% from fourth quarter. Total loads were flat year after year, but 9% lower than in fourth quarter. A 92.7% operating ratio, operating expenses as percentage of rev revenue, was 370 basis points worse than year ago quarter. Management called out weaker than expected demand and higher wages, equipment costs, and insurance premiums as corporates. Now, they said that management had their negotiations bid in February and said that in intermodal and truckload offerings were soft as well. Right? Um, brokerage unit reported a 17.5 million operating loss as lows declined 20%. Wow, that's crazy. Um the unit lost $15 million in fourth quarter, higher insurance expenses and integration costs from acquisition of BNSF logistics, brokerage operations were headwinds. So we remember J.B. Hunt did buy the brokerage department of BNSF, right? Uh, it says dedicated revenue was off slightly. Uh, the combination of fewer trucks and service and lower revenue per truck per week and 89.1% OR was just 80 BPS worse year after year. The company's truckload segment was barely profitable, it says, as loads and yields declined. The final mile segment saw operating income more than double to $15.1 million as revenue per stop increased 10%. The result included $3.1 million claims benefit. So overall, they missed their points. They lost some big money. And it looks like it's because they're just saying, man, equipment, insurance, and just weak negotiations, right? And... So it's happening to everybody, Mother Trucker. So comment down below if you work for JB Hunt. Uh, definitely let me know what you think. But the reason why we're cover covering this is because you have to understand that, you know, these big companies, they can see things that we can't see. So sometimes we got to look at their numbers and it looks like we're just still in the soft market. You know, my truckers comment down below. I appreciate you guys so much. I thank you for everything and I love you guys. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow and keep you with all the updates that happen on the daily.